Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Link7 and today I'm making a brand new video. And today I'm going to be going over how to skip the trial of the sword. I'm going to go over how to skip the beginner's trial, the middle trial, and the final trial. So you can go from not having an upgraded master sword to the fully upgraded master sword. Now I'm also going to be going over a updated method because a lot of people were trying to do this trick had a lot of struggle because a lot of the original videos that were being posted when the Trial of the Sword was released was this crazy method when you would stasis an object, load it up a bunch, go against the wall and just basically hope that the game clip you through the wall. However, now in 2019, there's a lot of different methods to clip through walls. So I'm going to go over a much more consistent one as well as an easier one. So first off, I need to explain how to set this up. So before you even enter the trial, you actually want to set up this glitch. So this glitch is called a shield clipping with a skew. So first off, how do you even obtain a skew? Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to know first of all before you even attempt this is how to do a shield jump. So all you simply have to do is you just need to hold the target button, so the left shoulder button, and then you just press the jump button and then your A button to take out your shield. Now you've probably done this in the snowboarding sections or in other sections throughout the run. It's just a no, it's just a known mechanic in the game. Now how you actually do this in a glitch manner is that you want to land on a slope that doesn't make Link fall off of it, but it's pretty much close to it. So what I like to do in this circumstance is actually walk up against the shrine and then just when I'm going up towards it, I'm just going to hold target into a shield jump kind of around this dot over here. Now, the next step about this is checking how good your skew are. Because if you have a bad skew, even though it could possibly work, it will make the trick much more uh, inconsistent and more difficult, or it's not going to work at all. So how to check your skew and also how not to lose your skew is that you want to do a shield jump. However, during your shield jump, you want to hold the D-pad left and unequip your shield. Because if you ever land on your shield after you set this up, then you're always going to lose the skew. So make sure never to do that. So basically, hold target, do a shield jump, but right after you start to jump, unequip your shield. And I'm going to keep just holding a D-pad left, releasing it and pressing it again so you can get a better like look. Uh, and as you can see, Link is kind of going to angle himself towards the side. And this is basically what's known as a skew. So if you see that Link only makes like a 10 or 20 degree difference from being normal, like standing up towards the left uh, or to the right, then it's probably not going to work. You almost want to be completely to the left like you see in this clip right here. So if you do end up getting that, then you're basically set. And I would like to say that let's say you did not get it. All you have to do is basically just do a shield jump and land on the ground. Because if you land on the ground with your shield, it's going to completely reset it. Because if you try it again while having a small skew, it's most likely not going to work well. So you just land on a shield, it's going to completely reset your state as you can see. And then you just run up, try it again, and then when you get a good one, you're now set. Now, this specific glitch actually maintains itself through loading zones, which is very, very useful. Because what we can do then is we can just run up to this and enter the beginning trial. And this is where the first part of this run and trick comes up. So straight away when you get into the first trial for the beginner trial, what you like to do is you would like to run to the upper right here into this first shrine and pick up the shield before the enemies pick it up. Now if they happen to pick it up, my recommendation is basically just to throw a bomb to knock them over so you can pick it up without any trouble. Now the first part you need to know right here after you got the shield and you're in the trial is that you need to figure out which wall is the opposite of the angle Link is going to be facing when he's doing this skew glitch. So in this circumstance, it's going to be the left side because if you're following the video, you're going to set it up on the same place, which means it's going to be the same angle every time. But I'm going to show it off anyway. So if you see if I jump right here uh, with this camera, you're going to see that it's going to go towards the right, which means that it's on the left wall because it always has to be away from it. So all you have to do then is I like to head over here and what you want to do is you basically want to hold target, press jump and shield, and then hold D-pad left and unequip your shield. Now, the good thing about this is you have an unlimited amount of tries to get this. It's a two frame window and this game runs at 30 FPS. So it's fairly lenient if you have a good skew. If you have a small one, it might be very precise. Um, 
It also does depend a little bit about your angle. So that's why I basically just say that try on these walls just kind of to jump into it. And then when you're about to hit the wall, to hold D-pad left and unequip the shield. The only part you can mess up is if you happen to fail to unequip the shield. So you actually land on the ground with your shield. So if you do that, you're eventually just going to pop through the wall and you're now out of bounds. And what you're going to notice is that I'm going to be running upwards right here. And you kind of want to look at this video and follow where I'll be running because this is the only place that it could go wrong because you might be lost. So uh, to simplify things, basically the trial of the sword, all of the individual uh, loading zones, or I guess you want to say all of the rooms for every single trial is all shared on one map. Uh, and all that the warp does if we beat a trial is that it takes you to the next area, but it doesn't actually load in a brand new map. That's why you don't get a long loading zone in between each time. So basically with this knowledge in mind, we can then run to a specific uh, basically trial. And this is actually going to be the last trial for the beginner. When you eventually find this, um, what I would recommend if you're kind of confused about where to go when you finally find this one is which wall to go with. So once again, you could just basically do a shield jump and equip your shield and you will see which angle Link is going to face from and it will go to the opposite. So I'm going to be climbing up on this side right here. Now you're going to be creating a bunch of ice blocks and what you want to do when you're getting closer because the actual blocks right here are not solid but it, because basically the box is just followed by an invisible wall is you want to aim kind of where the area should end and then just continue to tap the A button. And it is basically going to deny you from creating a block because you're trying to create one inside of a wall. So slightly aim downwards and continue to press the A button and you're going to create a block against the wall. After that, you just take out the paraglider, leaf towards it, and you're just going to stand on top of the block and there's going to be an invisible wall in front of you. Mm -hmm. Then all you have to do is basically just do the same thing as before. Just hold target, do a shield, and or do a jump, and then a shield jump, and then just unequip your shield, and if you happen to hit this two-frame window, you're just going to pop right through the wall. Now, after this point, you might be figuring out that we might be screwed because we're basically on the trial with no weapons whatsoever to defend ourselves. And the only really way to get around this would be to throw bombs like over and over and over again, which should take a very long time. So the method we like to use is we like to switch to Magnesis. We like to pick up this metal box and then kind of just walk to this enemy right here. Then what you want to do is you kind of want to aim up and down, up and down to hit his stomach part. Because every time you hit the stomach part, it is going to deal a small amount of damage. And if you're not t doing too much force upwards for your gyroscope controls or your C-stick, then the box is not going to break. So because of that, you can just continue to hit him, hit him, hit him, and hit him over and over again until eventually you have drained all of his health and he's dead. And after that point, you can simply just leave the trial and pick up your first upgrade for your Master Sword. Now, if you did all of that correctly, what you will notice is that you actually still have a skew. However, every time you clip through a wall, your skew will actually be worsened. So what I recommend you to do in between each individual actual trial is to basically do a shield jump to land on your shield to reset it entirely and do the setup again by running up on this little shrine right here, do a shield jump and set up your angle again, then enter the trial and we're now going to enter the second trial. Now, in my opinion, the second trial is probably the hardest one to do because it's pretty easy to get messed up in the specific area because it's a lot of wind and such. But what I recommend you to do is fly to this middle section right here, kind of drop a bomb and explode this guy with a shield and try not to get hit with the arrows and such, and then pick up the shield. Now, after you get that finally, you, as you can see, if I show off of my angle, you're going to see that unfortunately the wall that is needed to clip through this is actually where two enemies are. So you could take them out, but I just kind of run up here, try and clip through the shield and just hope for the best. Now, when you do eventually clip out a bounce here, you will notice that most of the outside is not solid because this is actually up in the air and the wind. However, thankfully, the wind extends outwards outside of this actual box. So you can actually kind of leaf around the actual area and follow where I do in this video. And you're going to see these kind of a water boxes for each individual trial at once again, which is actually where we're at last time. So you want to head over here on this field, just fly forward, land on the ground and then run. And you're going to be at the same exact trial that we were at earlier. Now, you might be wondering why we're doing this. 
Well, the reason we're going to do this is because the final level and stage, or I guess you want to say trial, for both the medium and the last final trial is actually very, very difficult to do. And thankfully, how the game is programmed, if you just finish a trial, so you get to the a loading zone uh, trial, it is going to look at which difficulty you entered in, and it's going to give you the representative upgrade. So what that means is if you then build up the ice blocks once again, clip inside of this and do the exact same thing again with the box, kill him. And then when he's dead, you just go to the portal, you enter the portal. You're actually going to notice that you're going to actually be on the second upgrade, even though you beat the trial for the first one. So that allows you to just run up the stairs, get your second Master Sword upgrade, and you've now done two out of the three Trial Swords upgrades. So what you want to do next, exact same process, you just reset the skew, get a new skew, and then enter the last stage. Now for this specific last one, um, there is a metal shield you can always get. I prefer to just run around, let the skeleton spawn, and then use a bomb to get the tree one. Because if you do get a metal one, then you kind of have to be a bit scared because you have to keep unequipping it because of the thunder. So I just like to get the one from the Boca shield. After that, you're going to figure out which wall you're supposed to clip through. You clip through the wall, and then after you clip through, this is one of the few things that you could actually mess up. So I recommend to save before this one. If you happen to go in the wrong spot during this, you're actually going to be able to soft lock your game because you're going to be stuck in this animation where one of the actual trials is going to crush you. But then you're going to respawn and get crushed again, respawn and crushed again. So the kind of lenient path I recommend you to follow is as follows. So after you clip through, you're going to see two kind of black circles, I guess, or biomes, you can kind of call it. You want to run in between them, and then when you see that it's about to drop off, you want to do a jump and take out your paraglider and leaf forward. And you're going to see these also two kind of a light boxes in the distance. And what you're looking for is you basically want to go straight towards them, and you're going to see in the very, very end here that part of the actual floor in front of you is going to be tilting upwards, and they're right in the middle of this kind of a part and section going downwards. And you want to go towards that. And if you happen to go up towards that, this is your way out of this section. So if you watched my previous video, we know exactly how to infinitely climb walls. But if you didn't watch it, simply hold down the D-pad down, which is the whistle button, and just continue to press the B button. And by doing so, you can then just run up this wall. And then every time he basically runs out of, I guess, kind of say stamina, he you will automatically continue to run. So this is a method to actually climb up walls without taking any stamina. So you're going to do that all the way and you make it away to the top. After that, you want to turn left, run past the first trial right here. And then you're actually at the first uh, final trial once again. And you want to do the exact same thing. So build up your ice blocks, follow your path over there, and then simply just make one against the wall, do a shield clip through, and you're now officially in this trial once again. Pick up the metal box and follow the instructions ahead for the first and second one. After you kill the Hinox, you're then going to go to the portal, and as you're going to see on this one, it's actually going to unlock the third and final one, and you've officially now upgraded your Master Sword all three times within only a span of about 10 to 20 minutes. But either way, I hope this helped you out a lot, and I hope that this is a much easier method than the previous methods that were out there. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. I also would like to say that I'm sorry for being a little bit inactive on my YouTube channel. I've been working on a project which is about to come up within the next few days. So if you're excited for that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's going to be a very in-depth video. But without further ado, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll enjoy the channel. Please subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.